Kimberly Pressler with your SCB News Break for Wednesday, November 18th. Santa Clarita Sheriff Station will be participating in an active shooter training session on Thursday at Six Flags Magic Mountain. The event will be large scale from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Sheriffs will be working with Magic Mountain staff, the Parks Bureau, the SEB, Los Angeles County Fire, AMR Ambulance, and Henry Mayo Hospital. There will be two scenarios, which will include the use of Air 5 SEB insertions and Los Angeles County Fire Rescue flights. The Saugus Union School District's governing board approved a new trustee area voting plan at their meeting on Tuesday night. The old at-large voting system has been thrown out to make room for a by-trustee area voting system following lawsuits that alleged a California voting rights violation. Under the new trustee plan, SUSD board members will represent areas 1 through 5. We're going to take a quick break, but when we come back, see how Placerita Nature Center is helping to educate kids all over Los Angeles County. Stay tuned. Hi Santa Clarita, did you know November is Men's Health Month? I'm sure you've heard of Movember, No Shave November. We're going to have a huge campaign this month. We really want you guys to get involved. SCV TV and HomeSmart are proud sponsors of this event. At the end of the month, we're going to have a great get together and just celebrate living here in Santa Clarita and men's health. And I'm Ray Tippett with the Circle of Hope. Please look for more information at www.circleofhopeinc.org. Placerita Nature Center hosts thousands of elementary school students every year to teach them more about the world around them. Haley Cook was there on Wednesday morning to find out more. Nearly two dozen Bridgeport Elementary School students stepped off the bus and into nature on Wednesday morning. Greeted by a volunteer named Linda and the resident barn owl, the students began their day at Placerita Nature Center with learning. When the bus comes up, their jaws just drop. <gasps> Oh my gosh, you know, so, and that's the most wonderful thing for me as a docent, is just to see that those kids um, have that. <laughs> Docents, or volunteers, teach about local wildlife, the environment, and how the sun powers the earth through interactive displays, a hike, and classes with the wildlife kept at the center. They love the hikes, especially if they're coming from the inner city or have not been here at the park before. Um, it's a treat for them. This visit is only one of dozens of student field trips. The center brings 6,000 students from around LA County every year. I'm Haley Cook for SCV TV. Santa Clarita will be getting its first dose of holiday cheer on Saturday night with a light up Main Street event in Old Town New Hall. Festivities begin at 6 p.m. and the official tree lighting will be at 7 in front of the New Hall Library. The streets will be adorned with thousands of lights, a food drive, and a way to help the American Cancer Society. See you there. Now turning to weather, Wednesday saw temperatures in the 70s around Santa Clarita. Look for the winds to kick up Wednesday evening with gusts around 35 miles per hour. Temps will be on the rise for the next couple of days with a high of 82 expected on Friday, but it won't last long as temps start to drop over the weekend into next week. That's all for your SCV News Break. For more local news, you can log on to hometownstation.com or scvnews.com. Thanks for watching. I'm Kimberly Pressler.